Hello and welcome back. So suppose we have a linear transformation. So our linear transformation T which map the vectors of R3 to the vector of R2 and is defined by this rule that it takes any vector x, y, j to a vector 3x minus 2y plus z comma x minus 3y minus 2z. So you can see after the transformation we get a vector with two components so it's a vector of R2 and what we have to do though here is the question so here we have to find the matrix of T so uh, we have to find the basically the matrix representation of T relative to the ordered basis so here is the word ordered basis which is very important. So here we have the first question. So we have to find the matrix of T relative to the ordered basis. So ordered basis means the position of the vectors in the basis is very important. So order of the position order of the basis is very important. Order means here we have the first vector of the basis. Here we have the second vector of the basis here we have the third uh, elements of the basis. So the order of the vectors, where this is a one and this is a second vector and this is a third vector, that are the very important thing to represent the matrix, uh, to represent the transformation by a matrix. So order of the vectors in the basis set is very important. So we have the basis of R3 also we have the basis of R2 here also this is the first vector of the basis and this is the second vector of the basis so that are the very important thing uh, when we are talking about the matrix of T so what we're going to do here is the procedure to solve this problem so we just solve the first uh, the question A so here we have the first vector which is 1 0 0 so T of 1 0 0 first we have to find what is the value of T of 1 0 0 so T is the formula is over here T of x y z is equals to 3x minus 2y plus z comma x minus 3y minus 2z so here x is 1 y is 0 z is 0 so if we put the value in this formula so what we get we get 3 into 1 minus 2 into 0 plus 0 comma 1 minus 3 into 0 minus 2 into 0 so after the calculation we get 3 from here and we get a vector 3 comma 1 which is a vector of R2 so next what we have to do we have to express the vector 3 comma 1 as a linear combination of the ordered basis of R2 so we have to write 3 comma 1 as linear combination of these two vectors but remember the order of the vectors is important so this is our first vector and this is our second vector of the basis so we have to write on that way so write that so here we get if I express 3 comma 1 as a combination of the vectors 0 1 and 1 0 so we get 1 into 0 comma 1 plus 3 into 1 comma 0 so order is very important so first we have to represent 3 comma 1 as a combination of these two vectors but first vector have to be 0 1 and second vector have to be 1 0 so next what we're going to do we're going to represent the second vector of R3 uh, of the basis second vector of the basis of R3 so we're going to write T of 0 1 0 so here X is 0 Y is 1 Z is 0 so put the value in this formula in this formula so what we get we get 3 into 0 minus 2 into 1 plus 0 comma uh, 0 minus 3 into 1 minus 2 into 0 so we get minus 2 minus 3 
again express minus 2 and minus 3 as a combination of these two vectors 0 1 and 1 0 so we get basically minus 3 0 comma 1 plus minus 2 1 comma 0 so next express the third vector of the basis which is 0 0 1 as a linear combination so 0 0 1 we get here x is 0 y is 0 z is 1 so put the value in this formula so we get 3 into 0 minus 2 into 0 plus 1 comma 0 minus 3 into 0 minus 2 into 1 after the calculation we get 1 comma minus 2 so if I express 1 comma minus 2 as a combination of 0 1 and 1 0 so we get minus 2 0 comma 1 plus 1 into 1 comma 0 when we are going to express the vector so remember the order of the vectors is important first we have to write here because we have the first vector is 0 1 so in the combination we have to write 0 1 as first and here we have the second vector 1 0 so uh, second vector we have to write 1 0 so next the linear combination will be so the matrix sorry the matrix of t will be relative to this com this ordered basis so matrix of t relative to the given ordered basis of r3 and r2 will be how to write so it gives us in this way so in this combination so what we get what we have here we have 1 and here we have 3 so in the matrix first column will be 1 comma 3 so here if we have the coefficient minus 3 here we have the coefficient minus 2 so second column of the matrix will be minus 3 minus 2 and here we have the in the combination here we have minus 2 and 1 so third column of the matrix will be minus 2 and 1 so remember that when it is transform of vectors of R3 to vector of R2 so uh, matrix will be R3 by so sorry matrix will be sorry 2 by 3 so matrix will be a 2 by 3 matrix so because we have 2 over here so first will be the vectors uh, dimension of the uh, from the range from sorry from the uh, codomain set uh, we get 2 and the 3 is came from the domain set 3 so we get a mat we get a matrix 2 by 3 matrix and whose first column is the uh, combination when we com combine the vector uh, of t1 t of 1 0 0 and the combination of 0 1 and 1 0 we get in this way so let's do another example to to uh, talk about this com uh, this uh, this type of metric representation again so we're going to solve the next problem so first let me erase this part so here do we go so first we are erasing the whole part from here so here we have the question b so we are talking about b so what we go going to do we have the order basis we again find the matrix of 3 the relative to the order basis of r3 and r2 so here order basis first vector of the basis is 1 0 0 second vector is now 0 1 1 so in previous example second vector was 0 1 0 but here we are taking the second vector of the basis is 0 1 0 0 1 and third vector is 0 1 0 so we change the order of the uh, vectors in the basis of r 3 here also we have the first vector is now 1 0 previously it was 0 1 and second vector is 0 1 previously it was 1 0 so we change the order of the vectors in the basis of r 2 also so we have now here we have the first vector here we have the second vector 
here we have third vector here we have the first vector of our two and second vector so what we're going to do first write express t of first vector so first vector is t of 1 0 0 so here x is 1 y is 0 z is 0 put this in this formula so here we get 3 of 1 minus 2 0 plus z is 0 comma 1 minus 3 0 minus 2 0 so after the calculation we get 3 comma 1 now try to express 3 comma 1 as a combination of these two vectors order of the vectors is mandatory so here 1 is the first vector and 0 1 is the second vector so we write in this way 3 1 0 plus 0 sorry uh, not 0 1 0 1 so we get 1 of 1 of 0 comma 1 so never write when we have to express the vector first vector 1 0 and second vector 0 1 do not write is the in this way do not write is in 0 1 plus 3 1 0 so this type of we do not want to write in this form we want to write first vector over here second vector over here do not write is in this form okay so let me erase this part next what we going to find we have to find the transformation of the second vector 0 0 1 so what we have t of 0 0 1 x is 0 y is 0 z is 1 so we get 3 into 0 minus 2 into 0 plus 1 comma 0 minus 3 into 0 minus 2 into 1 so we get 1 comma minus 2 express this vector as a combination of these two vectors remember the first vector is 1 0 and second vector is 0 1 so that's the very important thing over here again try to write t of 0 1 0 the third vector is 0 1 0 so we write t of 0 1 0 so here x is 0 but y is 1 and z is 0 0 minus 3 into 1 minus 2 into 0 we get minus 2 minus sorry minus 2 minus 3 we have to erase this part so we get minus 2 minus 3 and we write is as 1 0 plus minus 3 0 comma 1 so what will be the matrix of t so again matrix matrix of t relative to this order basis so here again first column of the matrix will be came from the coefficients of the first vector and then a coefficient of second vector so what we get so here we have three basically and so where is my ink so oh, actually I have to use a different ink yeah so here we have the first vector is three and here sorry first coefficient is three second coefficient is one so first column of the matrix will be 3 1 second two combinations we have the coefficient 1 over here here we have minus 2 so second column of the matrix will be 1 comma minus 2 and here we have minus 2 and minus 3 so third column of the matrix will be 3 and minus 2 minus 3 so we get again so because we have the same transformation from r3 to r2 we get a uh, matrix three two by three matrix so in this way we have to find the matrix of a linear transformations so if I write this in more general form what I are doing over here so here we are doing so let me erase this first so actually what I are doing over here so what we have to do if we are talking about any vector space V and W so suppose we have a vector space 
so before that so we are talking something different so more general form of matrix representation so what we have suppose we have a linear transformation t form a vector space v to a vector space w obviously we are talking about the dimension of the vector space v and w are finite so suppose the dimension of the vector space is m and dimension of the vector space w is n we are talking about a linear transformation which take the vector of finite dimension vector space to a vector of finite dimensional uh, finite dimensional vector space so in this way suppose we have a basis so what we have we are going to find uh, suppose we have alpha we write the alpha basis as whose first vector is alpha 1 second vector is alpha 2 and in this way because dimension of the vector space is m so we have m number of vectors so we have the ordered basis of b with first vector alpha 1 second vector alpha 2 in this way the image vector of the basis is alpha m and suppose we have a basis beta of the vector space w and suppose we have the ordered basis first vector of the vector space beta 1 second vector beta 2 in this way and the nth vector is beta n because the dimension of w is n so in the basis we have n vectors so now what we are doing suppose we want to write the matrix representation of t with respect to the vector alpha and beta so we write we uh, denote in this way so with respect to the vector alpha and also the vector beta so with respect to the vector basis of alpha and beta the orders of the vectors in the basis are very very necessary the order is very important thing otherwise the matrix will be changed so we get a matrix because we have the vector space here is dimension n and here we have dimension m so matrix of t will be uh, so we will get a matrix a of diamond of n by m matrix so we get a n by m matrix so how to get the matrix a n by m what we going to do we are going to express t of alpha 1 because these are the basis beta 1 beta 2 beta n and t of alpha 1 is a vector of w so we can express t of alpha 1 as a combination of this vector so we write t of alpha 1 suppose t of alpha 1 is a 1 1 beta 1 plus a 2 1 beta 2 in this way a 2 n sorry a I'm, I'm sorry for that let me erase this part so what we get so if we get n 1 beta n so we have n vectors so we have n coefficient a 1 1 a 2 1 and a 2 n so next what we're going to write we're going to express t of alpha 2 as a combination of vectors a uh, 2 1 so not 2 1 exactly so what we write we write a 1 2 so what we going to do so here we have 1 in each coefficient so here now we have 2 so 1 2 beta 1 plus a 2 2 beta 2 plus a n 2 beta n and in this way t of alpha m can be written as a 1 m beta 1 plus a 2 m beta 2 so try to express in this way and a n m beta n so after that the matrix will be so what we get the matrix the so first column of the matrix is the coefficient this coefficients so first column of the matrix are the coefficient a this type this coefficient so here we get the first column will be a 1 1 a 2 1 in this way a n 1 so dot 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 and second will be came from this coefficient second column of the matrix will be came from 
so a12 a22 in this way a n2 and so on and the uh, m mth column of the matrix will be came from over here so we get uh, the coefficient a1 m a2 m in this way a n m so we get uh, n by m matrix and in previous example so in this example we all talk about this and i think you understand all these things if you not just ask me in the comments if you have any problem particular problem just ask me in the comment of the video section so thank you for watching so so the, just um, uh, stay here i just want to uh, say that we're going to solve one more problem in this topic so uh, do not forget to watch my next video so thank you for watching